with him. If he thinks he's going down, that's what's going to happen. Eugene, the only person to lay a glove on him in the legal arena is uh, you. And again, I know from your attorney that there's nothing you can talk about in that arena. But I wonder what you've heard from other victims of sexual abuse or defamation um, that, you know, fuels you to sort of continue to, to, to reach and work toward the light and these creative projects and whether there's any sort of full circle experience in hearing from other victims of sexual abuse who watched your trial and watched how it was covered and watched how it ended. Uh, Nicole, you would be amazed. Not only me, but Robbie Kaplan, uh, my brilliant attorney, we have uh, received an avalanche mm. of letters from across the country. And Robbie and I are right now talking about creating a new platform um, and making it possible uh, for women to come forward. It's the very act of women coming forward brings power to other women. Mm -hmm. It's the very act of speaking up. And Robbie and I are in serious talks about giving women a platform and giving them legal help. Uh, I can't go into it, but it um, there's there's there is help on the way, and um, by some of the smartest minds in America, and it's going to be brilliant, and it is stunning. When you see women speaking up, how much power it gives to other women. Just because I spoke up this little bit. Now, hundreds of women are writing to us and saying, what can they do and how can they speak up? And we've seen the repercussions already. The woman in California sued uh, Cosby, the woman in New York. It is happening across the country. I would say this is not a downer. This is an upper. And it's um, we are. Uh, uh, we are rising up and uh, the voices, the stories, Nicole, are breathtaking. They're just breathtaking. Uh, women across the country, they're gathering courage. And I just got to say, watch out.